I do stand up paddle boarding because it's really great to get outside and get out onto the water. One of the reasons why I sup is it's just an extension of being close to the water and getting in the water. Whether it's exploring new locations with friends, going sup surfing when there's waves, or going on a downwind when it's windy. What I really enjoy is looking back at the cliffs, looking back at the scenery. Being able to get out on the sea um, you know, quickly and easily, I think it's really appealing. I got out and just started paddling around on the, on the ocean and on the rivers locally. One of the most important things for me living by the coast is that um, I can take advantage of every weather condition that's presented. Spent a lot of time on the water and I guess it just gave me a, a focus and a goal. Whether you're with a group of people or whether you're by yourself, it's just a really magical experience. Well, what muscles do you use when you stand up paddleboard? And you know, there's a lot of people say, oh, it's good for the core, good for the stomach. Um, you know, this is true. But if you imagine your core from your toes to your fingers and from your head to your feet, that's what you're working. So you're basically working everything. To keep the board stable, um, you, you, you're constantly adjusting with the legs um, to make sure you stay balanced on the board. So you're stabilising with your feet the entire time, your paddle, your shoulders need stabilising, your trunk needs stabilising, your hips need to be nice and loose and relaxed, so pretty much everything. Yeah, I think about the health benefits, and it's certainly something that I would you know, describe to someone else who was thinking about taking up the sport. When you are on the board, yeah, obviously it's an unstable uh, surface, and so it does encourage using you know, a lot of muscles throughout the whole body. It's a cardiovascular workout as well as a, a muscular workout, so think about it as you know, you're going for a run on the ocean, but you know, your feet stand still while you paddle along. But one of the most, uh, most effective parts of SUP is its meditative effect. You can be present in the moment, taking in the environment, taking in the nature, and just the stroke turning over and over and over has a great meditative effect. So it gets away all those stresses of the day, all the stresses from your job, your stresses from your relationships, all the stuff you want to forget about, you can find solitude on the water.